Howdy, y'all. Josiah couldn't actually be here today, so I'm here in his place. And what I want to talk with you about is... Hey, who are you? Sorry about that, guys. I don't know who that was, but he's a fake. Welcome back, guys, to this series on the day of the Lord, where we just want to understand this hope we have, this coming day. We want it to become clear and powerful for us so that we can endure, we can bear more fruit for Jesus and all that stuff. So guys, I'm really gonna try to get through this, but this week, I have had a very, very sore throat. It feels like I have this ginormous toad in my throat, except it's not your normal toad. He's got jumbo pitchforks sticking out of him and he's spewing out dish soap and he's on fire. And every time I swallow, I have to deal with that toad. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. But did you know that God has an agent? I don't mean like a secret service agent, but an agent as in a person authorized to act on behalf of another person. So basically the opposite of that fake you saw back there. He's like, I'm here in Josiah's place. Well, no, he's not because I did not give him permission. He was not a real agent, but God does have a real agent. An agent could be someone who represents you in court, or it could be someone who takes care of your investments for you. But basically, it's somebody that has full permission to act on your behalf, to make decisions, to say things, to do things. And it's the same as if you yourself were doing that because you gave them permission to do that. And we see Jesus in scripture functioning as an agent. For example, if you think about the first coming of Jesus, did God provide forgiveness of sins? Did God die for us? Well, yeah, because Jesus did. Jesus died for us. Jesus offered forgiveness of sins. And so there's no difference. God did it because Jesus did it. Jesus is his perfect, perfect agent, his perfect representative. And what's so interesting is that this idea we see all through the Old Testament and the New Testament of a climactic day in the future, the day of the Lord, is that we see that God will carry out this day by sending a man, sending his agent. Look at this. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice. So he has set a day. There is a day coming where he will judge the world. He will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. So will God come one day and he will judge the world and, and he'll restore creation. He'll do all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, he will because he will send this man that he has chosen. God hasn't just chosen a real day where he will act. He's also chosen a man who will carry that out for him. All right, guys, now there's not just a toad in my throat, but it's also raining, <laughs> but we'll get through this, guys. So in Matthew, when Jesus is giving the Great Commission, he actually refers to this, this fact that God is giving him the power and authority. He says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. So God has given him all authority, all power in heaven and on earth. But the authority and power to do what specifically? Just to like see miracles and get people saved? Well, the disciples actually describe what he means later in Acts. They say he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. So when Jesus says, all authority has been given to me, the disciples understood that within just the same Jewish idea of this coming day of the Lord, that the authority to judge and to carry out the day of the Lord has been given to Jesus. But now there's a question we've got to answer. How do we know that God actually wants Jesus to be this one? See, if you're representing somebody, you've got to have proof. Imagine if I just came up to you guys and said, hey, today I am the agent, the representative of the president. Whatever I say goes, today I get to make decisions for the US. Well, you would say, um, got any proof, buddy? You gotta have proof to say something like that. 
See, there has to be a stamp of approval. So what is the stamp of approval or the proof that God gave that Jesus is indeed the one he has chosen? Well, we actually see this in Acts. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. So when God raised Jesus from the dead, that was the proof that he actually approves of Jesus, that he is the approved agent. And this makes perfect sense because Jesus made a lot of claims in his life. But imagine if he just died and stayed dead. Well, nobody would believe him. But the fact that God raised him from the dead proves that the things he said were true. It proves that he actually does have the power, that God does approve of him. So that is the giant stamp of approval, God raising Jesus from the dead. So let's look at some specific ingredients in scripture for the day of the Lord and, and see how Jesus is the one who will carry those things out. We know that, you know, God will come from heaven with glory and with angels. And it says the son of man is going to come in his father's glory with his angels. I love that he's coming in his father's glory. You know, God will raise the dead on the day of the Lord. The dead will hear the voice of the son of God and those who hear will live. And just like God will judge the living and the dead, it says, the father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the son. And God will take vengeance on his enemies when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So now it makes perfect sense why it's not just called the day of God or the day of the Lord, but it's also called the day of Christ Jesus, because Jesus will be the agent who will execute the day of the Lord. He will carry it out for his father. Guys, if this was helpful, just boop that thumbs up button so more people can see this. And God bless you. Let's keep bearing much fruit for Jesus because a day is coming. Oh. Mm-hmm.